Hey guys, it has been like forever since I put out a real video. I'm going to put one out today and I look terrible and for that I sincerely apologize. <sighs> it's been a rough morning. Um, so technically right now I should be in New Orleans for my cousin's wedding. Uh, I'm not and it sucks. It sucks quite a bit because I really really wanted to go. Um, but that's another story for another time. And I'm sad, but I'll tell you guys about that. Maybe I'll tell you about it on Facebook. I don't want to waste a whole lot of video time talking about it right here. But anyway, um, hmm. It looks like no one's put out a video since the last little sorry excuse for a video that I made. So, uh, so, uh, I'm going to comment on the last things of video that I saw from you guys. Um, I actually have something that would have fit along with the whole animal clothes themed thing but as you can see I'm at my parents house you can't really see that but I've made videos from here before and I have not been able to make a video from my new apartment yet actually no that's a lie I have made videos from my apartment I've made like three videos from my apartment in fact I even made one this morning that I wanted to upload here at my parents house and wouldn't you know it I left a flash drive that had it on it at the apartment and it's just too much of a drive to go there get it to bring it back here to upload it it's too much gas blah 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 anyway so so talking about boys um I just got finished watching Melon's video um Lucy I watched yours but yours was really hard to understand I think I kinda got it but anyway just keeping up with the theme um, I thought I would share one of my stories with you guys I shouldn't be that harsh. Guys in general suck. Anyway, so here's my story. So my story happened when I was 17 and I was in driver's ed. So I had a crush on this guy uh, named Sebastian. And at the time I was really, really shy and like I never, I was never the, fir the one to make the first move. You know, if I liked someone. And shockingly this time, because it never seemed to happen before this, um, he actually seemed to like me as well. I sat kind of behind him. <clears throat> Sorry, a wasp attacked me. Fucking devil birds. So I have no idea how I ended up passing driver's ed because I was so fixated on this guy who was really, really cute and he really liked me. Um, and I knew this because he would always turn around and start flirting with me despite the fact that I was so shy that I would kind of start drawing on my notebook and generally try not to ignore him but I wouldn't say much either. Okay, so one day he passes me his number and I text him. Then he passes me his number and I text him that afternoon and this started an ongoing for like forever and this started like an ongoing forever trend of he and I talking back and forth through nothing but texting each other. We never even called. It was just texting. It was strictly a texting relationship. So for a few more weeks, we still saw each other occasionally in class, but then came the end of driver's ed, and after that, I never saw him again. And we still texted each other, that's for sure. We texted each other, like, all the time. But any time I would men mention or bring up getting together somewhere, he didn't really seem to want to. And this is where it gets really complicated. Like, if he was ever going to suggest that we meet somewhere, he always wanted me to come to his house. Always. And I was not comfortable with that. I mean, I didn't understand why he didn't want to meet in a public place at least a few times before he jumped into the meeting at the house thing. But he never wanted to see me in a public place. And it was weird. So then eventually... And then eventually it got even weirder because we would be texting and... Because let's say a week would go by where we didn't say anything to each other. And I would get a text from him and for no reason he would accuse me of cheating on him. And I would have to ask, I was like, are we together? And that sounds so horrible, but you know, I wasn't really sure at the time. Because he never wanted to see me. Unless it was at his house, which I was not about to do. 
Not without at least going out on like one normal date. Anyway, he'd say, yeah, we're together and um, I miss you. He would always tell me he missed me. But again, he never wanted to see me. It's weird. Anyways, eventually we had a weird fight. I can't really even remember what it was about now. And uh, then I started dating Jonathan. And I didn't want to hear from him anymore. The last time I heard from him was like last year around this time and he wouldn't stop like stalking me and texting me until eventually I told him I would call the police on him if he didn't leave me alone. But he started saying some things that sounded like crazy, like stalker crazy. But he started saying some things that were like crazy. Like, I'm not kidding, like, stalker crazy. So eventually I told him I was going to call the police on him if he didn't leave me alone. And I have not heard from him since. So, anyway, that's my weird guy story. Sorry I didn't have an animal thing. I thought that was pretty cool. And I actually do have an animal thing, just not here. So I can't give you animal, but I can give you bubbles. Anyways, bye guys. See you next week. I hope I have internet by then. And whoa, there's a wasp. There's a bee!